Hello, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lisa Elvin Stoltari, and I'm a genealogist and a passionate traveler. Over the last year or so, I have been featuring each stage of law or king's daughter and getting to know each one of them a little bit better. There are over 700 of them. We're on episode 152 today, so we've come a long way. Long way to go. So before we begin, let me show you how you can support the channel. The first three ways are ways that help you stay in the know. Subscribe, like, and notify. Those are the three keys uh, to be able to get them, you know, as much notification as possible when I post new videos. Um, and then the other ways are um, ways to kind of deeper ways to support the channel and um, help it to grow in different ways. So we have coffee, we have Etsy, and we have Patreon. These are three different and very distinct ways of helping the channel and thereby me continue to do what I do. So with that being said, let's get started and do episode 152 and get to know our Fage of Wa of this episode. So our Fage of Wa of this episode, number 152, Marie Merci, this is of your request. So of course, as usual, I go in my files and I go, okay, who has this? I was very excited when I saw this. Also, a work colleague of mine, uh, my current work that I do, other than genealogy, um, is this is also one of her great grandmothers. So, unbeknownst to us, we were related. So, Marie Merci, let's get to know her a little bit better. So, Marie was born in the region of France called Ile de France. And as you can see, it is really part of Paris, a very small region a, a, on the upper, on the upper part of the left hand you can see the circle of where it is in France which is where Paris is and then on the bottom left here I've circled the area that she is the county if you will Saint-Emerne and her town her commune is called La Ferté sous Joire um, and um, and it's a, an area that has been famous for its milling ability as well um, the church where she would have been baptized is Saint Etienne, Saint Denis, and it dates from the 15th century. And this upper part is just, you know, a picture of the downtown of that particular. Remember that in France they're called commune, um, and so that is the town, the village that she is from. By 1671, she had lost both her parents. She would go on to New France as a fille du roi, and she would sail on the Prince Maurice, arrive in Quebec City July 30th, 1671. She brought with her a dowry worth about 300 pounds. She was indeed 14 years old. The groom that she selected and who would select her, his name was Jean Chauvadière de Lepine. He was born in 1632, so he's significantly older than her. He was born in a town, a commune called saint junier in uh, the region of France called Nouvelle-Aquitaine. And inside um, the county or le département is Haute-Vienne, which you can see on the bottom left, bottom right, sorry. Um, the history of this town dates to 500 AD when saint um, Amand established himself here. Junier, a son of the count, of a count, became his disciple. Eventually, an abbey was built to honor Junien, who would become Saint Junien and his devotion. The Vikings would totally destroy this abbey in the 8th century. The church would eventually be rebuilt in the 12th century. And there you have um, this amazing historical town where he comes from. So how did he come to New France? So Jean would come to New France, but not with the Carignan soldiers of 1665. He actually arrived um, in 1670. He was, he, the company that he was a part of was called Compagnie de Lobia, and he arrived July 20th, 1670. So Jean had been in New France about um, 18 months or so, about a year and a half. Um, you know, uh, Marie had been there about three months, uh, and they were married October 19, 1671. She did receive the king's gift of 50 pounds. So the family would settle at Nicolet. This is the, actually the very first time that we are visiting this particular um, place in Quebec with a, a, after 152 episodes. This is where we finally get to Nicolet, which is a very common place. Um, and um, 
It is the county seat of uh, Nicola Yamaska Regional County today. The population right now is about 8,000, 9,000 people. Um, the residents of this town pronounce the final T, so it becomes Nicolette. However, people outside the region do not. Nicolet, Nicolet. Town took its name from Jean Nicolet, a French explorer and clerk of the Company of 100 Associates, who explored the Great Lakes region uh, west to Wisconsin. Despite never having lived here, he um, explored the area during the seven years he lived in Tuolumbia. The area was originally settled by the Abenaki tribe, who knew it as um, a place called, I can't pronounce it, but it meant entrance. The French colonial settlement of Nicolet area began in the late 17th century when Pierre Monet de Moret constructed a manor here, which is also known as the Moret um, Island. Rights to the territory of Nicola were, were accorded in 1672 by Jean Tanon and passed through several hands in the next 30 years. Um, and they were really, honestly, they were among the first pioneers of this area uh, to, to be here. Um, so this is kind of, if this is your ancestry, which is mine, um, obviously Nicola, we, we can lay claim to the fact that we were there almost from the beginning. So Jeanne would marry Jean-Pierre Delage and had five children, all of whom made it. This is my particular line. Uh, Marie Marguerite died, um, probably an infant. Charles married Marie Josette, um, and he had eight children, six of whom um, made it to adulthood. Marie Madeleine married Pierre Bertrand Bélanger and had 12 children, 10 of whom made it. Jacques married Simone uh, Moffet and had nine children, four of whom made it. Joseph married Charlotte Dionne and had one child who made it. Elizabeth married Pierre Boutou um, and had seven children, but only two um, made it. Marie-Jeanne, we believe, passed on in infancy. Marie is one of those that passed away so suddenly. We passed away at the tragic age of 37 in December of 1687, and she is buried at Notre Dame de l'Assomption in Champlain. Jean, Jean would marry another Fédéral, Anne Bensard-Nuka, in 1688, but they did not have any children. Jean, Jean himself would pass away in 1702 at the age of 70. She and Jean would have only been married 16 years, but they would go on to produce 64 descendants by 1729. And obviously by 2023, as I speak this, here is one of their descendants and also my viewer. Um, so that is just a remarkable, um, remarkable feat through the years. I also want to show you the, um, the resources I use to prepare uh, these episodes. We have the Société des Filles du Roi, we have Quebec E-Society, uh, Nos Origines, uh, Généalogie Québec, Migration, and Facebook. All of these are societies and groups and Facebook uh, and websites that I belong to. I, you know, either pay a monthly fee uh, or I, you know, am logged in <laughs> constantly. Particularly Nos Origines. I really, really like that site. And obviously Généalogie Québec is one that I could not do um, this, this series um, if I didn't have that because it is really Ancestry.com. Notice I don't put Ancestry.com. I do use it, but it really is not the mainstay of my research. And so we end episode 152 for Marie Merci. She was not here on earth for very, very long, but she made an impact. And for that, we thank her. We thank her contribution. And ultimately, she paid the highest sacrifice, her life by giving birth to the children that she did, she ensured the line and the lineage would carry on. So for that, we are grateful and we thank her memory. We bless her, um, her contribution. Until I see you on episode 163, au revoir.